partnership between UNESCO and the Aberdeen Charitable Foundation is a great example of an innovative public-private partnership which harnesses the two partners' strength to accomplish common goals. We expect it to implement three interconnected components, namely a research component related to UNESCO's international science programs, an education component related to promoting education for sustainable development, water education, and ocean literacy, and finally, an innovation component to promote innovative green and blue solutions for sustainable development. First year of the project, five sites were selected. St. Naum Springs in North Macedonia, which is part of the Ori Prespa Transboundary Biosphere Reserve, the Asterusia Mountain Range Biosphere Reserve in Greece, the Tuscan Islands Biosphere Reserve in Italy, Uzansko and Uptoreci Biosphere Reserve in Slovenia, Brighton Luz and Downs Biosphere Reserve in, in the United Kingdom. The project, it aims to promote sustainability through research through education and through innovative solutions to environmental and climate change challenges in selected UNESCO sites. We can use our voice as investors to drive change in the investments we're making and also in how we allocate our capital. However, our power beyond that is quite limited. And as such, I was really excited when the Aberdeen Charitable Foundation decided to join forces with UNESCO to form a powerful partnership that funds really groundbreaking research on the ground on biodiversity and environmental issues. Let me tell you, it was a life-changing experience. Uh, as an underground uh, recorder of the flora and fauna, I delved into the hidden world beneath the springs, discovering a remarkable ecosystem. Witnessing the abundant ecosystem services they provide was awe-inspiring. I'm grateful for this unique chance to contribute to the preservation of our natural heritage. The project allowed us to investigate important issues related to the hydrogeological characteristics of Pianos Island. The students also understood how the effects of climate change are fundamental in the management of water resources and how this can be decisive in actions to safeguard ecosystem services. As a biologist, I believe projects like this are very important for the conservation of dry matters. Monitoring plant and fungi species in these areas provide valuable information about the matters and helps us understand what is necessary to protect them. It has been an incredible experience. It really has, from the very beginning. AIM is to focus on two things, people and planet. And for me, these projects, yes, we're looking at the planet, but you cannot intrinsically remove one from the other. They are intertwined, because without a planet, the people we have around the world cannot live happy and prosperous lives. The human aspect of the project has been extremely uh, powerful and inspiring. We truly believe that we can um, replicate this uh, best practice example to generate uh, science-relevant and decision-making-relevant uh, datasets. Mm -hmm.